Hello everyone and welcome back to Code Escuela. In this episode, we are going to look at how we can generate PDF files in our Blazor application. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to get updates from our channel. Let's proceed. Quest PDF is a C Sharp library that you can use to generate uh, PDF files using only C Sharp code. And so you can check out more details about this uh, library by heading to questpdf.com and uh, there are there's a quick start guide here that yeah, shows you that you can indeed use c sharp code to uh, generate or create your pdf file okay and so what's great about quest pdf is that it's an open source project and you can take a look at the the code that uh, was used to create this a library and yeah maybe if you're interested or have some uh, wanted to contribute to the project then you can do so by heading into their uh, github page okay let's take a quick look at their uh, github uh, repo for this quest ptf library library and yeah if you're interested uh, with that with this one then yeah just head on to their GitHub repo, yeah. So this one is quite a good project, okay. And so yeah, let's head on to our actual demo. Let's open up our Visual Studio 2022, and then let's just create a new project here. So for now, we will be using just a blank solution, since uh, this will be a based on a two projects. So for this one, let's just name this as PDF demo. Let's, let's create it. And then now that we have our uh, empty solution, we will add our first uh, project, which is a console app. So let's right click on the solution and add new project. And then let's choose a console app. So we will be using a console app so that we can quickly uh, try out a PDF generation using Quest PDF. So uh, let's just name this as Quest PDF Console. And then click Next. Leave everything as it is and then just click Create. And then this will generate our console project. And then let's just quickly run this just to make sure that, yeah, project has been generated correctly now we have our hello world text here okay let's exit that one and now first thing we'll do is we'll need to add our uh, quest pdf library or package okay so to do that we need to add it via the nuget package so you can just right click on dependencies select manage nuget packages okay then let's head to the browse tab and then we'll search for quest pdf okay and then the first thing that comes up on the list would be this one quest pdf so this is what we're interested in so this is the actual library that we need and then we'll just need to click install so that it gets installed click apply i accept and then it should uh it shouldn't take long for this library to get added to your project okay now that we have it installed we can go back to our program.cs file and then let's create our first uh, pdf file okay so let's add a document so we need to pull the uh, namespace for this one control dot then we're interested in quest pdf that fluent okay now we can start use the create method we'll pass in our document and then in uh, the, our document we'll need to add a new page okay passing in our page now this is the part where we will actually add a simple text to our pdf file so now we'll need to access our page and then that content this will be the content section of your page and then add 
the text okay dot text then we can simply write hello pdf okay now to actually uh, show this a pdf file or actually be generated we'll need to add at the end of our create method dot generate uh, for this one so that we can uh, quickly see the generate pdf we will just use the generate pdf and show okay and then let's quickly run this one see if it works okay okay now we get an error it's because we forget to set something okay looking at this exception here we forgot to set a global setting for the license okay so since we're using this as yeah, just for demonstration it suggested here that you set the license ty type into a community okay so uh, quest pdf support support several kinds of license type one of which is the community one which we which is the free one that we'll be using okay let's just copy this one okay let's stop this first and then let's add it here and before our document that create a line okay so now that we've added that one we've set our license type into community and then let's run this again and we should be able to see that oh the default application used in your system in my case it's an edge browser so it opens up in our in edge okay now you can see that we have this pdf file with our hello pdf text okay now that's a very very simple uh, demonstration of generating pdf with quest pdf okay so let's just stop this one for a moment all right next thing that we will do is we will try to integrate quest pdf in our blazor application so uh, let's go back to our solution let's add a new project of the blazor web app uh, template let's choose that one click next and next and let's name this as quest pdf blazor okay let's continue with next just leave everything as it is and then click create and yeah it should uh, quickly create our blazor application we, before we forget anything let's set this first as our startup project now again since we are going to utilize the quest pdf library we first need to add this again to our blazor application so on your dependencies select manage nuget packages and here we will install again the quiz quest pdf library it's this one let's click install apply i accept and then this should uh, quickly install our quest pdf li library okay let's close this one up and so uh for us to uh, continue with our example let's open up our home that razor page here and here we will just add a simple button that would that will allow us to generate and download our pdf file okay so let's copy and paste here our very very simple button coming up from here so we don't waste uh, too much time and then here we have a very simple button that would uh generate our pdf and then uh, next would be to add another set of code here okay let's paste it here all right and then i will just explain uh in a bit later this one and so uh, another thing that we will need to add is a some javascript uh, code that we will be using inside of this home razor page so let's just open our uh, app that razor file and then here we'll need to add that script a uh, javascript code okay so let's just copy this one now this one is a javascript code that would 
allow us to download a file from our uh, from our Blazor application. Okay, so let's just arrange this for a bit. Okay, now uh, this is quite a very simple one. It will just uh, create an in, I mean inject an element within our Blazor application that yeah, allows us to stream the file that we will specify here as the path of our PDF file that has been generated and then it would allow the browser to download it on the client side okay now let's head back to our home razor the razor page and let's just talk quickly about this download PDF method that we have here so first off is we generate our PDF via this uh, generate PDF method. So basically, it's the same uh, code from the one that we have on our console application. So just the one that shows hello PDF text on our PDF uh, file. Okay. And then after that, then we will download the PDF file to our client. Okay. So this one has... Uh, several stuff in it first it will read off the pdf file read it to our stream which in turn would be used by our download file stream uh javascript method okay that we've just added a while ago here so this with this one uh it it demonstrates that with blazor you can run javascript code within your uh, Blazor application which uses C sharp okay so it is via this JS runtime uh, uh, class okay so let's just uh, make sure that all of our uh, dependencies are here let's just quickly rebuild this one so that we may not miss out on any dependency errors okay and it failed. Let's look at the error. Okay. You know what? Let's just try running this one. Okay. Okay. Now it has an error. Let's see our error list. It doesn't show anything. Hmm. Where are we pointing at? So it should be current project. Okay. Let's try rebuilding again. Rebuild. And it fails. Error list. Let's try running again. No. So it... Com okay, now we have this document does not exist. And then this license type. Okay. It doesn't show up here. But anyways, let's just add a dependency at using quest pdf. Quest PDF. Wait, let's just make sure that we have added our Quest PDF dependency here. Okay, it's here. Let's add a using Quest PDF dot. Hmm. It seems like seems to be the intelligence isn't working. Okay. Anyway, okay, so I have a bit of a hiccup there, so I had to restart my Visual Studio, and then now we're back with our uh, solution here. So now we need to pull up dependencies on these uh, errors here. So just use Quest PDF that fluent as a dependency for this document class, and then including this license type also uh, control dot quest pdf that infrastructure as you see we have this usings here it's being added and then for the js runtime we need to inject this one so at inject ijs runtime just name it the same js runtime and then that should fix the issue okay so now we should be able to run this one. Okay. Hopefully, uh, this should work correctly now. Okay. So now we have our home page. And then let's just click on generate PDF. 
Okay, as you can see, uh, it opened up a file and then to download, which is named test PDF. So I think I've already have one this one, but yeah, it's the same file. So if you open up this one, it has the same contents as the one that we have on uh, the console one. So basically, it's just the same uh, PDF content. Okay, so now that's how simple it is. You can start with Quest PDF. Okay, so that's great. Now you can get fancy with Quest PDF. You just uh, take a look at the different uh, elements that you can use with Quest PDF. Okay, if you just refer to other documentation here, you can use tables, you can use images, you can even use placeholders as like when you are trying to lay out your elements or your PDF, then yeah, that's one way. And then you can also specify different sections of your uh, page wherein you can have a header and a footer. And then the different sizes and all of those stuff. So all of the possible things that you can think of when you want to generate uh, great PDFs then or P report PDFs, then it should be available with uh, Quest PDFs uh, API. Okay. Now let's look at uh, one example that it's a bit more complicated. Like I have this Northwind project already. It's already on my repo but yeah, just to quickly show you this one would generate an invoice okay again it uses the same stuff as the one that we just did as an example so although it's just been separated out as on its own different modules okay but basically it's just from this uh, button that allows us to print an invoice okay and from here on to generate the invoice and then be downloaded on your client so let's just quickly run this example and you should be able to see that we you can generate much more complicated uh, PDF files using quest PDF right <clears throat> all right so now we have our uh, let's see let's go through the customers order orders a uh, page okay now we have two examples here let's choose this one order number 23 so you have your products here then if you click print invoice behind the scenes it would generate the PDF and then it will be returned as a file name that points to that generated PDF if you continue it will be downloaded to the client so if you go back here so this is the generated PDF and as you can see, yeah, it has much more uh, complicated stuff in here. So basically the one, the contents from your orders here, including this list of items, they are being generated using uh, tables uh, as one of the elements. And you also have a simple image here, a random image, okay? So yeah, with Quest PDF, you can uh, do complicated uh, PDF files or end reports. So all with just using uh, C sharp code. Now the other alternative would be like the uh, HTML to PDF one, but in that that one is a different way of generating PDFs, wherein uh, you specify your PDF layout via HTML. And so maybe in the future I'll also be uh, doing a video on how to do that uh, way of generating PDFs. But for now, I think, yeah, Quest PDF would be a wonderful library that you can use for generating PDFs and not only in your console applications or Windows, but also including your Blazor applications. So, yeah, uh, I think that's pretty much wrapped this up. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to the page. And, yep, yeah, hope to see you soon again on our next episode.